Welcome to the GCN Show. 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 Welcome! We don't need that bit. It's not needed now. All right. Well, yeah. this week we've got loads of great new tech news off the back of Eurobike. Dan's on the ground at the Volta. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm here in Andorra as the sun goes down on the first rest day of this year's race. And you, side, you're in Germany. I am. We are at SRAM's European HQ. If you don't know why, then you'll have missed two videos. I was. Yeah, don't forget as well, we've got great captions, comments, and tweets of the week. Plus, GCN's epic ride. A massive competition. Win SIS products with GCN. Fabian's got nice hair, hasn't he? He's got amazing hair. Caption of the week. Now, last week we had a picture of Vincenzo Nibali looking rather forlorn, crossing the line at the Vuelta, which he was surely to be disqualified from. Simon, take it away. Yeah, the winner is Oliver Pauly. Congratulations with this one. Mamma mia, that's a hard when you have to pedal. Are you, are you half Italian? Yeah, yeah, I am actually. That's incredible. Yeah, and this week's caption photo was, is this one. Matt, it appears like you're fingering in Boswell's no, boxer told, shorts. Hold on a minute with, with, with your tone and your language. I was holding up a pair of Ian Boswell's rougher boxer shorts because he asked me to. That's, that's a bit weird too. Ian Boswell asked you to hold his boxer shorts. Well, it was all in the name anyway, of... Anyway, you know, we'll let you guys run with this one. There's your photo. Put your captions in the comments section below this video and next week we'll choose a winner. And remember, this is a family show. Oh yeah, that's going to be tough, isn't it? Mm. Good luck. Mm. Competition time. This is an absolutely superb competition, as this week we're giving you the opportunity to win a whole load of nutrition products from SIS. Over to you, Fabs. Hello everybody, uh, I have you a little advertiser, because these are SIS products that we use in, in the races, and this is our two uh, race speedings, and uh, this is just a small thing that uh, you can win. Uh, when you start a competition. It's not just one rider's nutrition though. Oh no, it's enough nutrition for an entire team. Really? Yeah, check this out, right? So, you can win four cases of isotonic energy gels, an extra case of caffeine gels, yeah, another 30 of those, two boxes of Go Energy bars, a box of Rego protein bars, oh yeah. Whoa, a case of Rego rapid recovery sachets, Eight water bottles. This is and astonishing. For Brucey bonus, a signed Trek Factory Racing jersey. Whoa! Amazing skills. Thanks. Anyway, if you want to enter, all you've got to do is head over to our Facebook page, a link to which is in the description below this video. If you're not already a follower, yeah. Good luck. I might enter myself. Yeah, just... Am I allowed to enter? No, I don't think well, so. Technically. Kind of already kind of won this, I? Yeah, I know you're not allowed to go home in that. One of the most important events on the cycling calendar took place last week, Eurobike, the place for new products. And there was some fantastic stuff on display. Yeah, Canyon, I think, arguably stole the show for me. They had a great range of prototype stuff on display, particularly this new disc equipped Ultimate. How cool is that? 12 millimeter through axles and it's got space for 30 millimeter tires. So that could well be my ultimate do-it-all bike. I like that Did a lot. pretty tasty. But what about their soccer computer? It's made with input from Sony, mm. and it uses Android Wear as the software platform. So you can basically download apps like Strava and Google Maps, and I've done it, but there'll be more and more apps to follow soon. That's yeah. really, really cool. And I, it looks nice as well. It does look very cool. And we won't have to wait too long either for it. Apparently, that's gonna be knocking around in spring 2016. And I also, I also like the look of their lightweight ridiculously lightweight ultimate, four that point something kilos. Is, it, is that illegal? Comfortably illegal. That's it. And Canyon weren't the only brand with a race equipped disc brake bike. Cervelo have the R3 prepped and ready to go. And interestingly, they've kept the chain stays really short and they've spec'd up a custom FSA chain set 
and crank just to keep the chain line correct. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Any, any other highlights from Nissan? Yeah, I think uh, Ceramic Speed have bought the company Friction Facts, so mm. they're selling the latter's uh, super efficient chains. And then Ceramic Speed, obviously, don't forget, have got their allegedly three watt saving jockey wheels. Uh, yeah, so that could be a, a way to get a faster drivetrain. And then also, I've always said that I would get a dropper seat post. Now, this is mountain biking, so apologies for that. Mm -hmm. I'd get a dropper seat post when they went wireless. And Magura have just released a wireless dropper seat post. So I guess I'm going to have to get on board that bandwagon. I, the last three sentences, I just lost me, mate. I'm sorry. Sorry, Matt. Uh, any highlights for you? Any other highlights? Uh, got something just here. Physique, got the Whoa. new shoe. R1B, and I've got my hands on this test. How have you done that? Pair. Just contacts, mate. Just contacts. And it's a shame, though, because uh, I know me and you are a 43 stroke 44, and these are a, a minuscule 42. So I'm, a, I'm a 42, one. actually. You a no. 44 last time I checked, so I tried your shoes all no, the week. This is definitely my size. Hang on. Ooh. Yeah, that's my size. Oh, oh, yeah. How can we speak in a high voice now, sir? That's, that's not normal. It's mate. Just, I'm just excited. They are quite tasty, though, I must admit. Oh, hello. Uh, they've sent my colour at least, haven't they? They certainly have. Look at that. What about the socks though, mate? No. <laughs> okay, well, while you're doing that, oh, while Simon sniffs his shoes, <sighs> more tech news coming up. Very sure. That's a new shoe, by the way, not just an old smelly shoe. That's got that new shoe smell. Do you want a whiff? No, thanks, mate. I'm fine. <laughs> GCN's guns of the peloton. Tense your muscles, son. So give it a good tense. Come on. Oh, bloody hell! Wow, look at these beauties. Well, I've measured mine. Actually, in fact, Peter Sagan measured my guns. Peter Sagan measured my guns. Anyway, it's Sorry. time, because the fans want it, the viewers want it, the subscribers want it, I want it, John Degenkolb wants it. You want to measure your guns, son? All right. So I've got my tape measure. I don't think we'll be needing the entire length of this tape, particular tape measure for, you, for yourself. So I'm not, I'm not inferring anything. No. Of course. But is that your best arm? Neither are particularly effective at doing arm related things, but this is probably the, the less bad of the okay. two. I am left handed. Well, give it a tense then. You tensing? Yep. What do you mean, am I tensing? Look at it. Hopefully, you could get with this to sort of Ian Boswell territory or even Lawson Craddock. Well, oh, actually, sorry, it's actually looking all right. Oh, yes. 28.4. I'm not the worst. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, mate. It's not often I celebrate not being last. 33.5. What's the record? Off the back of the GCN Guns video, Adam Hansen, one of our subjects, actually tweeted in his defence, or in my defence, for his words, that he did just come off the back of an AC injury and didn't lift anything for four weeks. Hashtag sore loser. And he did tell me after our interview that he's going to work specifically on his muscles in the off-season to come back bigger, better, bolder and bulkier. I might help him in his 15th consecutive Grand Tour, Could won't do. it? Could do. Good luck, Adam. <clears throat> now, you'll be familiar with the artist Rich Mitch's work, whether you know it or not, in fact, because that fridge behind him is his very own handiwork, but soon you'll be able to drop his own artwork into your text messages. And that is because Bicycling Magazine in the States are in the process of releasing their own set of emojis designed by Rich himself. How cool is that? They really are quite cool. But I've heard, Si, on the grapevine, that here at GCN, very soon we could be producing our very own emojis. Oh, my word. What emotion was that? Can Hill Garmin have announced a couple of surprise signings? Mm -hmm. Firstly, Pierre Roland heads across from Europe Car and also they've signed a Rigoberto Aran from Etix. And Etix is where Dan Martin is going to be heading also for the next two years. Yeah, another rider to be leaving uh, Cannondale Garment is rider Hesedale. And he is off to Trek along with a former teammate and slipstream rider, currently BMC, and that's Peter Stettiner. Yeah, and so. little Cyril Gautier swaps the green of Europe Car for the brown of AG mm. Dizar or AG2R. <laughs> for those watching in English. Hmm. And also, there's rumours still abounding about the destination of Mark Cavendish for 2016 mm. and beyond. And rumour has it that it could be a certain African team. To Briz Petrochemicals? They're actually Iranian, but they oh. do need a sprinter. So who knows? My word. Two lots of tech news this week. Yep, over to you, Sai. 
Thanks, Matt. Thanks very much, guys, and, and me as well. Thanks, thanks to me. You look good. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Thanks. That's kind of you. <laughs> now, we are at SRAM's European HQ. If you don't know why, then you'll have missed two videos. We are here for the launch of SRAM's new red ETAP wireless group set. Okay, so it's pretty exciting, fully electronic, fully wireless, and they've also changed the way we shift gears. There's two videos with my thoughts on them, so let's talk to Kaylee, Frets of Velo News. Kaylee, what do you think about this new group set? I really, really like it. Uh, you know, I, I, I like Double Tap, I like SRAM Red. Um, I've always thought that Durace was a little bit tighter. Um, but this, is, is the, the, this makes some really important steps. Uh, the shift logic, which is what SRAM is calling it, is really, really good. It's very, very intuitive. I acclimated almost immediately. I use that word just for you. Um, it's, it's just very simple. You know, right side goes to a harder gear, left side goes to an easy gear, both for the front derailleur. It's, it's dead simple. Yeah, it, it is pretty exciting, actually. Everyone here genuinely is pretty thrilled with it. So uh, it's cool. Now, before we go, Kaylee, do you want to say hi to your mum and dad? Kaylee's mum and dad are big fans of the GCN show. They're huge fans. I know they're watching. Hi, mum and dad. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> and a big hello to Kaylee's mum and dad. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Fretz. Across in the US of A, Shea Fretz. But before we leave Tech of the Week, or Tech for the Week, don't forget to update your garments. Yes. Because as of last week, you can use Strava live segments, so your 510, your 810, and your thousands. Have you updated yours? I have actually, just plug it in and then download the uh, software update. <laughs> but you do need Strava Premium. But all is not lost. If you've got Garmin Connect, you can still use live segments too. Yeah. Do it. Definitely do it. Well, he's done it. Race, yeah, I have. I you're have done it. Cur- you're ahead of the curve. Thanks guys. Well, I'm here in Andorra as the sun goes down on the first rest day of this year's race. And it's been an enthralling first stint of racing. The race favourites have really yet to shine, barring perhaps Alejandro Valverde. But what that's meant is that we've seen young riders able to get into the limelight. So Chavez took a second stage win and had another stint in the leader's jersey. But the big surprise has been Tom de Moulin, giant Alpecin. Now, he is a class act, we know that. But we've never seen him go this well in a Grand Tour before. He twice came close to stage victory, finally getting that elusive win on stage 10 ahead of Chris Froome, no less, and going into the leader's red jersey. And he's a real unknown quantity as this tour moves forward forward. He's never found himself in this situation before. His competitors probably don't know what to think of him. He probably doesn't even know what to expect himself at this point. The other big talking point has been Peter Sagan, partly because he took that stage win, which he didn't manage to get during the Tour de France, but also because he was denied the chance of a second stage win after a Shimano neutral service motorbike took him out towards the end of one of the stages, which really suited him. Now, understandably, he was very angry and visibly so about this just after the accident. And for that outburst of anger, the UCI fined him 300 Swiss francs. The very next day, he promptly left the Vuelta, citing a lack of skin or a lot of skin lost through the crash. But to me, it seemed more like an up yours to the UCI because that fine was more than both Buani and Nibali got for holding onto a team car. Lots of Sudal's Chris Bokemans was unfortunately the rider that came off the worst in the huge pileup on stage eight of the Vuelta. Now the 28 year old was actually placed into an induced coma due to the severities of his injuries, all centered around his chest. And that includes bleeding and lacerations to the lungs as well as severe concussion. Yeah, he's gonna be kept in this state for the next seven days. And from all of us here at GCM, we wish him the absolute best for his recovery and hope that it's a speedy one. Got an hour or two spare? Oh yeah, yeah, go on Si, you can go and make this film, it'd be great. Comment of the week now, this one stood out for me, as I was particularly interested to see how people were reacting to the new SRAM wireless. Inevitably, one or two people were talking about how to hack it in races, to which Rob Ferguson replied, much easier to get a handful of carpet tacks and run around in a Borat costume, which is, which is true. Definitely would be, until I like this particular one, which is under your video testing whether you can actually ride home on a flat tire stuffed with grass. Now, Dr. McAwesome, which I must add, is, it, is, absolute, it is a totes awesome name. Excellent. Glad to see it doesn't take any longer than me changing a normal tube. <laughs> Very good, Dr. McAwesome. Very good. And what about you, Lloydie? Yeah, there's been some fantastic comments underneath our videos over the last week, but this one really stood out to me. It was underneath the how to lead out like a pro with Heinrich Hausler, and it came from Slim Jim Hendricks. He said, I'm always blown away by the speed that fit amateurs can achieve, let alone the pros. But what impressed me most here was Matt's pace. There aren't many people who look that old 
that could go that fast. Hmm. Mm. Not sure what you think about that one, Matt. I'm a little bit upset, actually. A little bit. I don't know where. On the one hand, it's good because it's compliment. You were yeah. going 65k an hour. It's just a looking old bit, but, you know. British champion Lizzie Armistead of Bowles Dermals won the Grand Prix Ploy at the weekend and in the process sealed her second successive World Cup win by outsprinting a select group at the end of what was a really thrilling race. Now, despite attacking in the finale and getting caught, Armistead still had enough in the tank to outsprint Emma Johansson and world champion Pauline Ferron Provo for a third World Cup win of the season. Yeah, you know, that's the last of the Women's World Cup. Yes. Yeah. Next year, uh, the UCI are rolling out a Women's World Tour instead of the World Cup, so including stage races as well as just one-day races. And you know what? I'm not entirely sure it's a great idea. Why not? Well, given that the men's calendar is in such desperate need of reform, but no one knows quite what to do with it yet, I can't see the advantage to essentially replicating the men's calendar for women's racing. Why not take the opportunity and create something entirely new that could be a blueprint for men's and women's racing? I agree, actually. I'm, I'm kind of with you on that, and especially given the fact that I think the, main, the men's World, World Tour thing does, definitely needs to change. Wait till 2017 and start from scratch rather than change it again in a year's Absolutely. time. Absolutely. But anyway, at least one thing's for sure, women's cycling is on the up. It's time for GCN's Epic Rides. Are you ready, Matt? I brought my A-game this time, son. Michael O'Driscoll. <laughs> Training camp in the Sheehy Mountains of Cork. Ireland. Enough said. Epic. <laughs> man, that was epic. Oh, cheers, mate. Was I tell you, I love those photos at the end, actually. Michael, I just got. Indeed. I went pretty Good deep, riding. Guys. I think everybody went a bit deep, didn't they? You're, you're sounding a bit deep now, actually. I know. You're sounding a little bit deep. Dr. Octave. Oh, my word, that just was remember, epic. Keep them coming. Hashtag GCN yeah. Epic Rides. We are loving your epic rides. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the platforms. Yeah, Dom's tweet of the week this time comes from Chad Harger, a rider at Giant Alpecin. He says, if your method of track standing results in you facing backwards when the lights turn green, it's not working. Well, thanks for that, Dan, but Dom has been on fire. We've got another one here. This is from Tom Demoulin. What the f***? I can't believe this. Winning on a steep climb like this. Amazing feeling. But in a Dutch accent. Amazing feeling. But very good. <laughs> Sean Connery. That's not Tom DeMoulin. That's James Bond, you know. Uh, yeah, right, sorry. Is, is Sean Connery not freak. Dutch? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> good tweet, though, by, uh, by yeah, Tom. Very good. Well done, Tom. On the channel this week, on Wednesday, is how to pace yourself for a time trial. So here are our tips to good pacing and getting the most out of your time trial. Thursday, it's the top 10 ways why cycling is different to other sports. Um, as you can see, if I turn sideways, I actually disappear. Um, and I'm not the only one. We haven't actually put in uh, that you can get run over by a referee, which is, I think is unique to cycling. Have we got time to put that in the edit? Might have to stick it as number 11. Oh, no, definitely. Mm. Anyway, Friday, we've got an absolute belter. GCN's Epic Climbs. Colli del Finestra. That was epic. Was mate. Bonkers, wasn't it? Nice, yeah. Saturday, we've got Domenico Pozzavivo's Focus Izalco Max Pro Bike. Sunday is off the back. And then Monday is how to know when to replace your cleats and then how to do it right when you actually come to do it. Your cleats or just generally doing it right? How to do everything right. It's a sure. pretty wide ranging Monday gonna, maintenance video. Watch that. Life maintenance. Cleats and life. What's on Tuesday? Hello, welcome to the GCN show. Welcome to the GCN Show! We will leave you as ever with Extreme Corner. This week, this week it's me. So you sure this is going to go on Extreme Corner, yeah? If, if I do this, I can get on Extreme Corner? Okay, all right. Let's put SRAM Red ETA to the test. No, I'm... I just don't think it's going to get on. I just... Can someone help me? Can you help, can you help me down? Guys? <laughs> I'm 
Sorry, Sai. That it's extreme corner. That just doesn't cut it. What? There you go. Another show down. That is your luck. Clearly, you'll be craving more GCN, and I don't blame you. So why not click up there, and you can get through to our latest presenter challenge. Which one of us is the smoothest peddler? I know it's got best hair. Yeah. Well, that's another story. Or, alternatively, given we're in the midst of a very exciting Vuelta Espana, you could click down here for our Vuelta playlist. Yeah, and as well, don't forget that you really must subscribe to GCN. You have to subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free, and you can do it by clicking on... Well, oh, that's really. Uh, yeah. It's just so much good stuff. Competitions. How about... Just Joe Dombrowski's taken over our Instagram account. He has. You can and win one of these. Click on a Trek Factory Racing... Oh, hang on a minute, that's the one that you were wearing. 